How to make Chrome extension for Manifest V3 Chapter 3 How to Debug Learn how to debug Chrome extension. Let's incorporate console dialog into memo pad made with Chapter 2. Prepare the necessary files. Please access norisoft.web.app on your PC. Click zip of the How to Make Chrome extension for Manifest V3. Right click on Chapter 3 underscore MV3.zip and select Download. Extract Chapter 3 underscore MV3.zip. Make sure there are four files. Manifest JSON is a manifest file for Chrome extensions. Pop of HTML is an HTML file that is displayed by clicking the extension icon. MyScript.js is a JavaScript called from pop of HTML. Chapter underscore 3 dot PNG is an extension icon. The size is 19 by 19. Click on the extension icon and select Manage Extensions. Enable Developer Mode Click Load Unpacked and specify the folder Click the extension icon to pin the installed extension. Click the C3 icon. Right click memo pad and select inspect. Click the DevTools Console tab. Make sure you see the debug message on the console. The JavaScript file name and line number are displayed to the right of the debug message.
This debug message indicates the start of the window, onload event, the memo data of local storage, and the end of the window, onload event. Click the Save button in MemoPad. The newly displayed debug message indicates the start of the click process of the Save button, the contents of the text box and the end of the click process of the save button. Type debug in the text box and click the save button. The content of the text box has changed to debug in the newly displayed debug message. Debug messages are a rudimentary method, but they can be very helpful in finding bugs. DevTools has more advanced debugging features, so if you are interested, check it out. Manifest JSON is almost the same as Chapter 2. Pop of HTML is the same as Chapter 2. My script JS just added console.log to the one in Chapter 2. That's all for this video.